Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today's video is how to style Converse for autumn and winter. If you're new to my channel, then hello, my name is Patricia and I share lots of fashion and styling content here on my YouTube channel, including how to style videos, styling tips and ways to wear as well. I have a full playlist here on my YouTube where I am constantly adding new things into it. It's like just one of my favorite things. I've been doing it for years. So if that's your sort of thing and if you enjoy watching videos like that, then please do subscribe to my channel. Completely free to subscribe and it just means you'll stay up to date with my upcoming uploads, including brand new how to style videos. Today's video is how to style Converse for autumn and winter. I love Converse. I love wearing them all year round. So I wear them every single season, including autumn and winter, which I know can be a little bit controversial because anytime I wear Converse throughout the winter, I'm always asked, aren't your feet freezing? I can't believe you still wear Converse in the winter and things like that. So I just wanted to share some of the ways that I wear and style my Converse throughout autumn and winter and also a top tip for wearing Converse throughout the colder months. This is a must have in my opinion because the Converse are made from canvas which obviously isn't the most warm and isn't really the most appropriate for autumn and winter footwear, let's be honest. However, if like me, you just love wearing and styling Converse so much. I want to get my wear out of these trainers all year round. So my top tip when it comes to wearing Converse throughout autumn and winter is to add shirling insoles. It seems like such an easy tip but honestly I only started doing this I think like two years ago and it's such a game changer. By the way this pair of shirling insoles are from an Australian brand called Emu Australia who specialize in shirling footwear so they have a lot of this kind of thing and their shirling insoles are excellent. They are slightly on the pricier side. I wouldn't say they're expensive or anything but I know that you can get shirling insoles for under £10 whereas these are around the £20 to £25 mark which is a little bit more expensive. However with that in mind I would always recommend spending a little bit more on something like shirling insoles because you want them to go the extra mile, you want them to last quite long and these are fantastic in that sense. Naturally shirling is likely to flatten with wear so you really want something that is a bit more substantial. These also have a thicker sole so they offer arch support as well which is very very good for footwear just basically the kind of insoles and the kind of addition to your footwear that's actually going to do good and also be useful so I would always recommend spending that little bit extra for better quality. I suppose I may as well go through a quick demonstration so this is just my low top converse insole and it could not be easier. Literally pop them into the shoe and as you can see they now have the fur lining inside which keeps my feet nice and toasty throughout autumn and winter. On to the outfits now, starting with my black high top canvas converse. These are probably my most worn. So for this outfit I really wanted to be a little bit experimental in terms of layering. So I have on an all black outfit which isn't actually that experimental but I do love my all black outfits come winter time. So this is just a very true to my style outfit. So I'm wearing a chunky high neck or roll neck I should say jumper. It's a real chunky piece of knitwear so it's great for the winter months, great for the cold but also a really good one because you can layer underneath. So under here I do have a thermal top as well just keeping warm with extra layers. I decided to pair this with a black mini skirt along with some sheer tights. I know some people get really frustrated to see outfits where you're sort of bundled up and layered to the max on top and then the bottom half you're in sheer tights but to be honest with you I say this a lot but winter and autumn in London is generally speaking quite mild. Obviously I'm going to choose my outfits wisely and I probably won't wear this if it's freezing outside and like minus one degrees. I think it just goes without saying but nonetheless I do get a lot of wear out of these tights throughout autumn and winter so I wanted to be able to share an outfit that featured converse styled with either a dress or a skirt throughout winter because I think it's so easy 
easy to fall into the routine of just wearing jeans and trousers so I wanted to be able to share with you that actually Converse look good even styled with tights. For my outerwear here I went quite basic and I just went for a black boucle blazer over the top here. You can of course change this up depending on where you are and the weather but I decided to go for this because I just wanted the legs to be on show and it's a very simple outfit to be honest with you. It's just my favourite black pieces all together paired with my favourite black high top converse which I have been getting so much wear out of this winter. I absolutely love them and I think they look just as good paired with tights in the winter. On to outfit number two and here I am also wearing high top converse however this time they are my white leather high top converse so I'm more likely to wear these leather converse if it is raining because of course they're leather so they are more durable than the canvas and I think that if you do want a lighter pair of converse to wear throughout the winter going for a leather finish as opposed to canvas is a really great way to be able to keep that footwear going strong throughout autumn and winter so for my second outfit I'm wearing quite a neutral but casual outfit so here I've gone for a another high neck jumper you'll see a lot of these it's just the winter uniform for me to be honest this is a wool blend one from and other stories which I have just tucked in quite casually into a pair of Levi ribcage jeans I really like these jeans because they're a straight leg and I think they look really really cool paired with high top converse as I have paired them here so as you can see these jeans are relatively long on me but you can still see that the converse are a pair of high top converse but you don't really have any ankle or anything like that on show so you could easily have thermals and layers on underneath your jeans if you wanted to. I've also added a black belt here with gold hardware, just a very simple outfit accessory. And then I've gone for a trench coat, which I think is a perfect autumnal piece of outerwear. As we move into winter and if it's colder, of course, you can swap this out for a wool blend and more of a thick and substantial coat. But for autumn and for the transitioning season, as we're moving from autumn into winter, I feel like this is the perfect kind of outfit for me just multiple layers that you can remove and add on as the weather sort of changes and then as my final accessory actually I've also got on a hat here this is a north face hat which is also fleece lined it's honestly my all-time favorite winter hat it's so cozy I absolutely love it and the colors worked really nicely here with the neutral tones of the look so I added that to finish off the outfit so my third outfit I have black converse again but this time instead of being my high top converse they're actually the low top converse I don't actually think they're called low top but I don't know if they have a particular name but just the classic canvas black converse I don't necessarily get as much wear out of this type of converse as I do the high tops I think the high tops are much more suited for autumn and winter but nonetheless I wanted to share with you how you can still wear a more classic converse throughout winter as well so for outfit number three I have a monochrome outfit black and white's going on here and I'll start with my coat actually my coat is my white coat which I adore I've had this coat for so many years and I just get a lot of wear out of it it's probably quite easily my most worn outerwear for the past few years I really love it I decided to pair this with a black and white striped top this is a long sleeved quite basic top to be honest with you but I really loved it tucked in to a pair of high-waisted black trousers I love wearing black trousers and I feel like these which are more of a wide leg a bit more comfortable and a bit more casual I think they pair really nicely with the striped top I actually think if you were to change up some of the accessories in the footwear this could also be a great workwear outfit idea but in this occasion it's obviously more of a casual and dressed down outfit or even an outfit for like the commute when you get to the office you can switch your shoes but you'll know that they still look really good paired with converse so here I'm wearing my black canvas low top as I mentioned you can't really see them they're only really peeking through but that's what I really like about them paired with wide leg trousers actually I like that all you can see are the white leather toe caps and then also the white laces sort of peeking through as well from the black I think that looks quite nice particularly with an outfit like this one that is essentially monochrome and just black and white I like the continuity of it those are three ways to style three different pairs of converse throughout autumn and winter let me know which outfit was your favorite in the comments down below was it outfit number one number two 
or number three. I've also done this video for spring summer. So how to style Converse for spring and summer. That video is more focused on spring and summer styling naturally with dresses and shorts and legs on show basically. So definitely have a watch of that video if you are a Converse lover and you want even more tips on how to style Converse. A very big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more how to style videos and just more content in general from me. I would absolutely love to have you here as part of my little family here on YouTube. So please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all very soon. A huge thank you for watching and I will see you all soon. Bye!